All right, welcome back. Amy Poehler and Nick Offerman spent seven years together in the cast of NBC's Parks and Recreation. Now the network has reunited the pair for something completely different. It's a new reality show that showcases makers, artsy, craftsy, everyday people who can create something out of anything. Here's Raphael Seth with a preview of Making It. Y'all ready for this? Why don't you relax and untwine? Puns aren't the only things being crafted by Amy Poehler and Nick Offerman in Making It. This show, I think, is for people who want to be inspired to make things. It's also just for people who want to watch people make things. It's also for people who just want to watch us goof around. I support your inner bee. Buzz, yeah. buzz, buzz. One buzz. common thread <laughs> is empathy. In crafting, there's a group sensibility. It's kind of tribal that I really enjoy. And we staying on the right, right side of the tribe means so bringing in judges. Etsy's Dana Isom Johnson and fashion writer Simon Doonan. They wanted people that had expertise, and we managed to delude them into thinking that was us. <laughs> Contestants came out of the woodwork to show their creative talents, but they didn't all begin as makers. So dance was my first art form. I started as a child psychologist. I was an economic development officer at the United Nations. They'll test their mettle in a series of tasks. The faster challenge, each maker is given three hours to create something. And then in the second half of the episode, it's about the master challenge. That master challenge gives the makers 12 hours to complete a project and gives the judges a chance to peek behind the decoupage. We've seen blood, sweat, and tears, yes. people <laughs> cutting themselves, glue gun burns. Of course, there are also post burns. No way, Crochet. I'm getting sick of your scrapbook. The creators hope this handmade tale makes making it an artisanal television experience. Raphael Seth, NBC News.